Uh, as I've been introduced, my name is Stan Just. I'm the CEO of Covenant and the game director of the upcoming game called Gord. Uh, I won't run, run the teaser for you because uh, we don't have sound, but we can ga uh, go straight to action. So, um, first and foremost, I have a few assumptions before we begin. So, um, the first assumption is that you are game developers and you split your projects into tasks. Is this true? Are you doing tasks? No? Yes? That's good. That's good. Because if you wouldn't, then, then it would be all for nothing. <laughs> so uh, chances are there are quite a lot of them. Uh, if not thousands, then dozens of thousands of tasks that you need to juggle in order to get the project up and running. So my second assumption is that the task names or the task titles are the first and main, hopefully not the only thing, that uh, the developer looks before doing the work. So usually how it's supposed to happen is that you have uh, various diff different fields uh, in your um, project software, like descriptions, references, attachments, etc., and the de developer looks into all of them. Um, but chances are that not all of them are filled. Uh, I've heard that some people actually fill them. Um, I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm filling them as well. Sometimes, so um, this is the probably something similar that uh, that you look at the every day. So, for example, in this software, the title task title is the main uh, column here, the broadest one. So this is just to illustrate how big of a deal the task title is. And the third assumption is that even the smallest task can be misunderstood and thus wrongly executed. And if they are wrongly executed, then you create waste. And you don't want waste. Like waste is just like waste of time, wa waste of money, or waste of your mental energy uh, contributed to this project. So you don't want that. So, and the conclusion from that is that improper task names can be uh, the source of very significant um, problems. It's probably not your main problem uh, on your projects but I don't care about it. Like This is a presentation about task names, so let's talk with about task names. So the example here that I wanted to illustrate the overall presentation with is to give you a simple task. I would like to ask you to imagine dragons. So that's a simple task, right? So if you did it correctly, which means the way I imagine it to, you've probably seen something like this in your mind. If not, then probably you don't have a small kid at your home. Um, maybe you've seen this thing uh, somewhere around the city. If you've been to Asia, maybe this is something that pops up. If you've been to the zoo, maybe this. If you're very serious, probably something like that. But just to illustrate, like this is a small, simple task, and you can always say that, yeah, there's definitely a description there and an attachment, and uh, like some references, etc. Yes, they, they usually are there, but even though those fields can all be filled, there is still this large area of variance that the person can target, and it won't be aligned with your way of thinking. So, to give you more grounded examples right now, uh, a bit more serious, so naming mistakes. What can you do and how to avoid it? So the first thing, um, there will be just a couple of them. And this is a brief presentation. Just I wanted to emphasize that. This is the shortest presentation I've ever did. So if it abruptly ends, it's just the way it's supposed to be. Like We have just very little time. So um, first, first mistake that you can do is misleading names. Uh, in our game, we had this case where we needed a trooper. Um, there's an empire, and uh, as empires commonly have, they have soldiers. So we need like a generic soldier. But for some weird reason, at the very start of this task, and the first thing that came to my mind uh, was the name Royal Guard, because it's a kingdom, there is an emperor, etc. So let's call it Royal Guard. And I left it like that, because I just wanted to keep to the naming convention that I picked once. And I was totally wrong, because when you call somebody 
in a certain way, like for example, Royal Guard, you can imagine a guy like this. This is not from our game, of, of course. Um, but you can imagine a guy that has, you know, a specific behavior, like stands up straight, is rather wealthy, high social status, rather unique in regards to the appearance in the game, for example. But we didn't need it, this. We, we just needed a generic soldier. So any, the name that we actually changed him for is Kalantian Swordsman, just to pinpoint specifically to the way how he's working, how he uh, behaves, how he looks, what he uses. He uses a sword, he should be called a swordsman. Like, don't call him Royal Guard, because like this is confusing and people, even at the start when the, when the concept art will be correct, then somebody fi finds the file name called Royal Guard, let's do an idol or like combat walk, and he will do it like totally different than you imagine it to. And that's just the name. That's just the name, but it's so misleading. Not specific names. Uh, we created um, a monster. We wanted to create a monster that's called Ardoans from Slavic mythology. And the first result that I got, even though I've just provided a lot of information to the concept artist, all of it was, of, of course, neglected. Um, he just produced something like this. And I was like, uh, that's not quite what I'm getting for. So, going for. So, I've changed the name for Suffering Ardoan, the Lord of the Swamp, and the immediately the next concept art looked like this. So, the change, I'm not saying that the, 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 the everything that, uh, that he did, or I, I did, was just to change the name, I just provided more feedback, but this is the main thing that we changed, just to, to, to direct person to something a bit more specific, and then you have a totally different way of thinking about it. So, not specific names. Changing names too often. So we've got a hut. So we have structures because we are uh, gorgeous a base builder in part. And um, we had a hut that was healing units. Um, over time, he healing them a bit faster than they heal normally. So the first thing that came to mind was healer, then healer's hut, then healing's hut, then apothecary, then sanitarium, banya. And at some point, somebody said that this is not banya, this is balia. So we actually ended up with Balia, at least for this moment. If you say that this is actually Banya, I would need to change it again. So that's not desirable. But you can imagine that if you change the names so often that you probably stumble upon somewhere in the code, somewhere in the, in the you know, images or documentation to one of those names, and somebody says like, oh my god, we forgot about animation for apothecary. And he will, and the other guy goes, "Whoa, that's so fucked up!" And and the the last guy says, like, because he was on lock time, he knows the history of the project. No, 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 guys, chill. Like that's that's all done. That's just a different name. So that's that's something that happens. Uh, lack of naming conventions. And um, this is something that if you don't um, if you don't have enough discipline in your team to keep to the namings. You can end up with, you know, this is a structure where a guy goes, or a girl, goes w and processes wood. So you can call it like woodcutter's hut, lumberman's so sawmill, lumberjack's shop. You can call it very different names. And if you won't have a proper discipline in your team, people will use all of them. And that will be extremely confusing, like for all members involved. Even if you try to keep to the more or less the same name, it still can spawn some trouble because people search, for example, in the engine for different parts of this phrase. So it's confusing. What's worst is that you can actually pick a naming convention that's not only misleading, as my first line, but also unintuitive. And if you pick it and Moreover, if you actually enforce it and make it public and then, you know, the knowledge spreads, uh, you need to explain to everybody, like among the, the development team and then probably players, uh, how it works. So, my imagination was that I wanted to organize creatures in our game. So, this is an animal, this is a beast, it's not an animal, and this is a monster, and so this is not a monster, it's a beast, and this is a monster, not an animal. So, so that's extremely confusing because the, the first thing that the outsourcer does when he sees a concept from this group, he says, yeah, yeah, we're doing your monster or something. Hmm. It's, uh, that's not a monster. 
if you misuse that, so if a task is saying that all animals should do this and that, if somebody forgets about this weird grouping, then he you know, spreads around the feature across all the groups because he, think, he thinks uh, more or less accurately that all of those are animals. Well, they are not in the heads of the game director. Uh, so, uh, two complex naming conventions. If your naming convention requires people to remember how many of the underscores needs to be used in the appropriate sen sentence or phrase to call an animation, that's a, a pretty like steep thing to ask. If you use tags in naming, this is also something that's, uh, that I've seen a lot, but for me it's also very confusing because it makes the whole name um, pretty difficult to actually read. And then you can go also like very hermetic things, like proximity ripple effect should not influence hate gathering exp disable. So some people can understand it within the title that they are working for, but some won't. And this is what you can do. The worst thing that you can do is to use those guys. Like new, final, done, exclamation mark. So if I see a file that's called like exclamation mark, underscore, done, final, final, version three, new. Like this is like a, you know, a serious talk to have. So don't do that, don't do that. That's a, like a black list, that's, that's why the black square. So, going too broad or too specific. If, if you, um, uh, that's a bit complex to explain. So bear with me. So you can call something like texture mixing system, and you just go and do stuff, and you can get like very different results uh, from it if you don't provide enough further information. But what's interesting enough that you can go even too specific on tasks. So bear with me. What happened? Like. I've uh, created a task to ask a person to create a system, I'll read it. So create a system that will enable a level designer to mix three textures using data exported from Google Spreadsheets. If you are so specific, that's usually a good thing, but if you know what you mean, if you know the stuff, if you don't, like me, I'm not a technical person, so I'm just like writing bullshit here. So after a while, the programmer said that actually, we could do like more or less textures and actually be more performant if we do it a bit differently. But since the, tag, since the task specifically asked to mix three textures and use this kind of expert, I just did it the hard way. And I just like lost a lot of time, uh, but I was just like being literal to, to the specific task. So I thought I was doing the good thing. Uh, he, was, uh, he was thinking that he was doing the good thing. But that was my fault, since I just don't know what I'm speaking about. Um, versioning. Sometimes versioning also can be confusing. I, I really recommend it uh, to use, but uh, be careful about it. Um, what I mean is that when, you do, when you're doing a feature, just to avoid things like new, new, or final, final, just like call it a different version, because there's always another version, so um, to use versioning. But if you don't provide, again, like some further information about it, uh, it can also be misleading. Why? Because I created a task, for example, for patrolling. So patrolling is a, as a feature. Uh, you just like pick a guy and just uh, ask him to go around. Uh, some like simple feature, right? But I've, uh, I've called it patrolling version one. Uh, and I didn't meant to actually be version two. Uh, it's just I left it for like debugging or something. So I, Im I imagine that everything will be covered there. But the QA actually thought, together with the de developer, that since it's a version one, uh, it doesn't need to be like fully like final final. We can like mess around with here. Like uh, so, so numbers can be in a different font, or like the the icons can be in the different sizes or something. So because it's a version one, right? Like there will be definitely version two. There weren't. There wasn't. There wasn't in the plan uh, to have a version two. So, so again, like uh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake of a producer, of a, of a guy that's using the task names and ordering uh, somebody or asking somebody to do stuff. Uh, if you do do those mistakes, 
then uh, you run into some trouble. Again, probably not the biggest trouble <laughs> that you can get in your game development project, but just be careful about it. That's just a few words for me. Thank you. Okay. And uh, now we have a couple minutes for some question to our guest. Hi. Um, do you have um, um, a solution for the version one problem? Because I can imagine when I, when I do start writing a document, I probably will put a version number on there or a date. Like so, yeah. What what would your suggestion be? Uh, to be uh, not too lengthy in the names, but also I really like to use uh, only names if possible, not to provide any descriptions. So you can go with name version one. Uh, uh, you know this. Line, uh, <laughs> not an underscore like this line, and then explain what it is. So, like for example, um, I don't know, like final version. Uh, it's, no, that's a, that's a red, bad example. Uh, but like um, uh, complete version, let's say, or like a full feature, something like that, or like uh, it has everything, kind of a thing. Then it helps. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, just provide some uh, checklists or like fill out the description. Just says that yeah, this is the final final version, and actually should be in the description. You can use it. Uh, I allow it, uh, and then uh, you can actually throw some uh, attachments to it and just explicitly say attachments help. Like I like attachments. So if you explicitly say that, uh, guys, to your development team. If I'm doing a task and this is an attachment and it just says just like do the stuff from the when you're doing the UI for example just do the stuff that is in the in the attachment like that's ra rather simple to follow like and then then the, the the area of mistakes shrinks I would say okay so thank you very much All right, thank you guys.